guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys an overview of my bookshelves. So if you've noticed by the background, I did the rainbow <laughs> plus the bookshelf that's in the corner over there. So I did them by color this time and I posted about it on Twitter and it blew up a little. I was kind of scared. I've never had a tweet get that many likes or retweets ever. And for like six days I was getting notifications nonstop. It was really weird. But yeah, so that was fun. But I'm going to be just showing you guys an overview. I'm not going to be taking every single book out just because I personally don't like watching those bookshelf tours as much anymore. And like I personally just don't like watching them. And like I know for a lot of people like they'd rather not watch that for like an hour and a half but it's obviously a personal preference but like if you're here for one of those it's not it but I'm going to be talking about some of the books on my shelf like actually talking about them talking about what's on my shelves how I organize them things like that this right here is my first shelf which is just a ladder shelf I got this one from Costco I think they don't sell them anymore they're discontinued but literally type in ladder shelf and you'll find one. They're pretty inexpensive and they hold quite a bit of books. So this is one of the ladder shelves. Basically, I have my all my like white books here. My white books, my cream, cream, whites, stuff like that. Um, I have them all arranged in different heights. So no two books beside each other in the same height, just because I thought that like when like, when you're doing colored bookshelves, I think that looks cooler when they're like different heights. Um, so that's what I have here. And I have some little goodies on my shelf. So I have this little guy, this little snowman. <laughs> he, I actually painted him as well as the little um, fox that's here. So I painted these guys. So they're just chilling here. I have this little thing that says, ask me about my cats. Because if you don't know, I have a cat, love him. I also have some little bookish goodies. So I have a little candle. Uh, this one is Ellerin. It's a black witch candle. I think HCC Frenzy gave it to me in a baggy thing. Swag bag. Ooh, it smells like linens. Also just have some Funkos down here. So this is difficult. This is so difficult. <laughs> Basically, I have BB-8 over here. I have a My Chemical Romance, Gerald Way Funko Pop. I have just some goodies down here. I'll probably show more close-ups, but I have like a little baseball that my boyfriend got me, um, a little succulent with snow on it, some Stranger Things pops, some Harry Potter. I have one from Danny from The Shining down there as well. So this is just my all like white books. I have one book on display on the shelf, which is Warcross because it looks so pretty and I love it so here we have like my actual two big shelves that you guys see in the background of my videos pretty often at the top which you can't even see i have like my black and kind of like miscellaneous books that i couldn't fit and it was so hard to do these shelves guys so basically if we move over here i have like my reds up here so some little accessories that i have is like i have a rubik's cube over here a beats pill some more funko pops and things like that then i have my orange shelf which it's all my orange books. I have like my green-ish, bluish thing happening here and then more blues down here. Move over, like just pan, just when we pan to the left, I have all my yellows over here and then some more blues. I have one book display on the shelf, which is the Wicked Deep, just cause I love this cover. The book was pretty good too, but I just love the aesthetic of this cover. I love like the pentagram and everything. So that's why that's there. And I'll show you like a quick little pan of them. So like the bottom shelf, way down there, I had to do like a double stack. So I had to put books in front of the other ones because I have so many and they don't all fit. So I have all those there. If you're wondering what that little box thingy is, it's for the lights that are on this shelf. So I actually need to change the batteries on those. But these are all like miscellaneous books that I couldn't fit. And same with this side, which mostly has just like black books and things like that. Going up, I have purple books. A lot of you guys pointed out my little Pokemon character I have here. My friend gave that to me. Um, I have a little like Ice Man Kills postcard here and some more Funkos. Then I have like my pinks, some pinks here, some blues and greens going along these shelves, more blues and greens, blues, things like that. I have green and then yellow, red. Then my reds at the very top. 
and that's kind of how this shelf looks so i have like some little things like some of my favorites are these little like pusheen pops i have a little candle in the corner um i have a lot of like random candles on this shelf i don't even burn them they're just kind of on display so over here is a corner of my room that you never really see so i have like some edgar Allan post up on the wall it lights up and everything and i have my black shelf these books are falling over because i just filmed something else where i had to grab them so that's why it's like that but this shelf is just all of the books that I own that have like black spines. So this includes manga, hardcovers, paperbacks, all of that stuff. On this shelf, I have all my Stranger Things Funko Pops, including like Dart, Billy, uh, Jonathan, Nancy, all of them are on here, as well as a clock, a little vintage clock, and a big jar of bookmarks. So just for a quick overview, these are an overview of my shelves two main ones and then the little black one in the corner personally i love them the other this huge one here is from ikea um that's about it but i got a lot of questions about how i'm gonna find books honestly i don't really do rainbow like ever like you, i don't think you guys have ever seen me do it because i like having my books in some type of type of series order or like by genre or by height um so this is really weird for me but i think it looks really aesthetically pleasing and yeah and like the books that i'm looking for like when i make videos and stuff the more i like talk about certain books like the more i know what spine they have and the more you know like it is organized by color so as long as i know the color of the spine i can find it um i know series are split up which does bother me a little bit too but i don't know this is temporary it's not gonna be like this forever but i just really like the look of these shelves so let me know your guys' thoughts on rainbow shelves, how you like them in general, how you like these shelves. Um, let me know down below. If you saw any books that caught your eye, let me know. If you saw one of your favorite books, let me know. I would love to hear about it. That concludes my little bookshelf tour overview kind of thing. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And I just thought I'd do a video because if you guys see these in the background, there's gonna be a lot of questions, like when did you change your shelves and all that kind of stuff. So that is the reorganization of my shelves. If you feel like it, retweet that tweet about the, about these shelves because 16,000 other people did. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you all super, super soon with a new video. Bye.